Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video, Steam Guide, or I'm showing to you the new shards overview function on the Steam Launcher. So and most probably you didn't hear about this, so pro most probably you thought like it still looks like the old charts are very, very old, so, but the new charts actually is pretty cool. So, so they were revamping this and put, uh, giving us some amazing new features. So where do you find it to? You hover over store and then you click on stats. So I'm just doing it now again and it's loading again. So I already have to admit, I really, really like this, uh, this new uh, overall chart. So where we can see online now and peak online in general, you see, yeah, more and more people play video games. So that's an important, uh, important information. Then we have the top selling, the top 100 selling games. I mean, how awesome is this to see now on Steam itself? So, and what is very important to know, it's uh, it's also DLCs included and in-game transaction included in the in the selling. So this means how much money do, do those games actually make? So it's not just uh, the the pure unit that is going to uh, or is being sold uh, on, uh, of a game. So at the moment, Call of Duty, of course, Modern Warfare is new. Well, it's not really new. It it has a change. Sorry, from twenty play. Let's see. 26th place, sorry, uh, and it's already 11 weeks in. Then we have Slime Ranger, Ran Ranger, Ranger. Uh, now it's one week. That's a new entry already on, on the second place. EA Sports FIFA 23, Cyberpunk. Oh my god, Cyberpunk is coming from the 68th place. And since two weeks, since two weeks, yeah, that's weird. I mean, Cyberpunk is out much longer. I don't get it. So that's that's weird number. So, but it's coming from the 68th place, uh, coming up. So now to the fourth place. So that's amazing. Construction Simulator also a huge jump. Sea of Thieves seems to be a very popular game still. Then we have Return on the Monk to the Monkey Island, Potion Permit, Disney Dreamlight Valley, War Thunder Satisfactory, Satisfactory also. New entry? New entry? Is this possible? I also thought this game is already out since quite some time. Half-Life Alex, same. New entry? That's uh, also confusing. So Euro Truck Simulator Destiny. So if you look for good games, so most probably you are going to find actually some of the good games here. Ah, also I saw, saw now here that uh, it was only for Belgium. So if I look now globally, so do we see a difference? It's actually not a huge difference if I just look for globally or we look for China. Let's see what games are popular in China. So in China games, uh, also Call of Duty is extremely popular. And PUBG is very popular. Counter-Strike, Naraka, Cyberpunk as well. Not that a big difference. Uh, the Scroll of Taivu is a new game. I don't know. If you want to know what game is popular in Japan. In Japan, it's Apex Legends. So it's still on number one and still. So Apex Legends costs, for example, nothing. So that's a free to play game, but in game you can or you can play, buy, buy some starter packs and you can spend, spend money in game. Therefore, people really spend a lot of money actually in Apex Legends, Legends in, in the game itself. Therefore, it is on number one since long term. Here also in Japan, Call of Duty, Monster Hunter, Cyberpunk. So people are saying Cyberpunk is dead, guys. Cyberpunk is not dead. Cyberpunk is actually more alive than ever. So very interesting. Uh, to see this also due to the country so if you if you want to know if there's a good game in a specific country that you want to play or you, then you can uh, choose games like this so it goes down to 100 so here we have the netherlands if i go then back and i say let's have a look at the most plate the uh, <laughs> counter strike come on <laughs> the most hundred most played games by current players. So we can look by current player and by daily players. So current players, this is now at the moment, at this very moment where Mr. Orange is recording this video. We see Counter-Strike, of course. Then we see uh, Dota, Apex Legend, PUBG, Lost Ark, not available in my region. So since I'm at the moment in Belgium, so it's not available, but it's good that it's actually written there. Team Fortress, Grand Theft. Outer Cyberpunk, also Cyberpunk, my friends. 
82,000 people play this game again and 56,000 people play Call of Duty Modern Warfare to the open bit and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this game after I made this video because it's simply amazing. I really love this game my friends. Mia 4, never heard about this one. So current plays and then if we look at the daily players, let's see if there's a difference. Is there, there the current players? Dota is on two, daily players, Dota is on two, current players, Apex, PUBG. Yeah, it's very, very little, uh, little change. So not really, uh, not a real change here. So, and then we have the weekly top sellers. That's maybe interesting. So, weekly top sellers global for a whole week. So, we see the Steam Deck is extremely popular. Then, Counter Strike uh, Global Offensive made also a lot of money in the weekly selling point of view and call of duty of course and then again the same game so here you really see which games are cashing in so top new releases so, so how do they, ah that's the classic so so cartel tycoon etc so those are the new releases my friends i think i think i think i steam hardware survey steam download stats so i think my friends we've seen everything here so this is the new steam shards overview steam shards overview so i hope you enjoyed this video so check this out you can find it hover over store then over stats and then you come to those new functions so i think it's pretty cool to get some more data some more information but of course you can also use some of the third party uh, websites like steam steamshards.com uh, like steam database or others and uh, i will also make a video about some of those uh, uh, websites in the future because i always think if i see something cool that is related with steam i want to show this to you my friend so with that i'm leaving it here and i wish you a wonderful evening see you the next time bye bye